Yo, what's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I am teaching you guys how to ride a motorcycle. Never really thought that I would ever make a video on how to, but uh, if you guys want to see more of these, then let me know in the comments and let me know what you want to see on how to, how to do anything. Just let me know in the comments and I might make the video. But I made a video a couple of days ago. If you guys haven't seen it, it's pretty much titled, I think, um, what was it? What was it titled? God. Why you should buy or why you should ride a motorcycle. One of the two of the titles. But I believe that video was posted a couple of days ago. So if you haven't gone and seen that, watch that. Come back here and like the video. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel because why not? Damn, it's getting fucking hot. But today I am teaching you guys how to ride a motorcycle. This is my 2020 ZX10R. KRT ABS. Now obviously it's not the KRT version right now. It's because I crashed it whatever but we have new fairings on it so it's still the krt abs edition but this is the bike that i'm going to teach you guys how to ride i'm pretty much going to teach you the basics of riding and uh yeah how to use the clutch rear brake when to use braking and all types of stuff like that so if you guys do enjoy the video make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you guys are new and on that let's get into it all right so before we actually hop onto the bike let's just go over pretty much everything so on the left side of the bike we have our little clutch uh foot lever it pretty much one down is first and then neutral is kind of in between first and second but it goes one down up to second third is also up all these all the rest of them are up so third fourth fifth and then sixth and then to get back down you go you know fifth uh fourth third second and then neutral if you really wanted to it's like it's just halfway down and then first is at the very bottom so that is the foot clutch on the left side also we have our hand clutch you use this to obviously shift the gear before you ever want to put the bike into gear you obviously want to pull the clutch in with your left hand and then shift and then ease out on the clutch to where you find that bite point and then that's when the bike will start to go now when the bike is in neutral you don't need to use the clutch at all you can pretty much just leave the clutch out you don't really need to have your hand on it you can just pretty much coast you can pretty much just sit still and the bike won't move because it's not in a gear so you're not gonna you know have contact with the clutch and you're not gonna move the bike at all so you don't need the clutch in when you're in neutral but when you're changing to any gear you need to pull in the clutch and switch to that gear moving to the right side of the bike we have our front brake this is i believe 70 percent of where your braking comes from on a motorcycle so your front brake is pretty much the best thing to use and also it can be scary because if you use too much front brake you can you know pretty much lock up the front wheel and flip over the bike because front brake very strong and then right here on the bottom right side foot area we have our rear brake now this is 30 percent of your braking power i believe and uh you're pretty much going to be using these at the same time pretty much whenever you are riding or and coming to a stop you're going to be wanting to use the front brake and the rear brake other than that i pretty much think that is it from the left and right side so now let's hop on the bike and i'll show you guys kind of like what the buttons do all right so every bike is not going to be the same you know obviously there are other bikes out there that are way more technology advanced than mine but on my bike i'm not going to go over pretty much the things that are not going to be on other bikes but um it's it's not on <laughs> now I'm going to keep out. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm not going to go over the buttons that are pretty much not going to be on any other bike except for this one. So uh, right here on the left side of my bike, we have our uh, low beam, which your low beams are always on. And then you have your high beam. And then those you turn on, you know, pretty much whenever you want. Uh, I have a, my horn on the left side right over here. The horn really doesn't do much. I really don't ever use it. And then the right side, we have our uh, kill switch, our on and off, you know, kill switch. Pretty much the one with the circle and the X through it is, you know, the bike is pretty much off. You can't start it. And then when you flip it down, when there's no X across the circle, that means you can start the bike. And then the starter is right underneath it. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but that is the actual starter. So pretty much you got to turn the key to the on position. Flip this switch down to where the circle doesn't have the X. And then you want to hold the starter. And you really don't need the clutch because you're in neutral. Make sure the bike's in neutral. And then just push the starter and it should start up. 
All right, now that the bike is on, now it's time to put the bike in gear and figure out how to get the bike rolling. So let's do that right now. So first you wanna put the clutch in, okay, all the way in. Then you wanna push down on the clutch lever on your left side, push that down to one. If you have a bike that shows you what gear you're in, it pretty much will show you what gear you're in. So mine, I'm in first, it's showing me I'm in first gear right now. And now to get going, all you need to do is just pretty much feel out that bite point. So mine is about halfway through and that's when the bike will start moving. I'm not using any gas at all. I'm just getting to that bite point and the bike is starting to move by itself. So once you have that bite point kind of figured out, all you want to do is just hold out that bite point for a second, may maybe give it a little bit of gas. And then once you get going, you can fully let go of the clutch and then you're moving just like that. Now I have a very bad idle, low idle on this bike. So every time I go to like a lower gear, it starts to jerk me a little bit. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it jerks me a tiny bit. So it's a little bad. So I can't really go too slow in the parking lot. I kind of have to speed up a bit, but also make sure you're in a very open area when you are practicing riding, because you don't want to just, you know, be doing this in a public area where there's really not too much space. You can't really turn, you know, you don't have room to mess up. So go to a big area and make sure you have a lot of room to uh, mess up if you actually do. So now it is time to go to the next gear. We are going to be going from second or from first into second. So come to a stop. Once you come to a stop, now that you have figured out the bite point and how to pretty much keep on going in first gear, now it is time to go to second. So let's start how we previously did. Get to that bite point, give it a little bit of gas. Once you start moving fully, you can fully release the clutch. And then after that, you want to go to a certain speed before you switch to the next gear. So I'm going to switch up uh, going about 15 miles per hour. So right here, going 15, I'm gonna pull the clutch all the way in, use my left foot, push the clutch all the way up, and then boom, I'm gonna release the clutch softly. And once I get to that bite point, I can finally fully release, but very slowly, on the clutch to where it's fully out so it's the same thing as uh first it's just you're pretty much pulling the clutch in pushing up all the way on the left side foot clutch to make it go into second and then you want to release the clutch a little bit to get to that bite point again once you feel it once you feel contact then slowly release the rest of the clutch and you should be going in second gear it is hard to show you because i really don't have too much space around here and i'm not trying to go in between all the parking spaces but i'm gonna give it a shot one more one more time actually i'm gonna go over to this road right here just because i have a full straight line that i can actually show you guys all right so come to that stop again and then once you do you're going to want to get to that bite point once you start moving give it a little tiny 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 bit of gas once you start fully moving you can fully release on the clutch now that you're going at a certain speed you can pull back in the clutch push all the way up with your left foot into the second gear get to that bite point again also giving it a little bit of gas and then fully release on the clutch and then you should be going in second gear i know it might sound like a lot when you're first starting to ride but honestly i can tell you right now i drive a manual car and it is maybe two to three to four times easier than driving a uh, manual car i can tell you that right now but that is pretty much the same way to go from any other gear if you want to go back down well actually i'm going to teach you that right now so when you go to second you obviously want to learn how to get back to first or come to a full stop so actually let's go back onto the main road real quick and i will show you how to go from second to first or you know second to a stop I'll, I'll, I'll teach you everything i'll teach you everything all right again coming to a full stop getting to that bite point giving a tiny bit of gas once i'm fully moving i'm fully releasing the clutch and then i'm going to switch up to second gear by pulling up the clutch pulling or pushing up with my left foot and then getting to that bite point again slowly releasing all the way until you are fully out on the clutch now you're in second gear now to go back down you're going to want to blip shift now how you blip shift is very very easy all you want to do is pretty much match the rpms at which you are in a certain gear that you want to go to <clears throat> and you only want to blip shift when you're going down in gears never up you really don't ever need to rev the vehicle rev the bike when you're going up in gears you should never need to do that unless you switch like super slowly then you might need to do that but so let's do it one more time i'm going to switch to second gear very early i'm in second gear now to go back into first i'm going to pull in the clutch all the way blip the vehicle or blip the, the throttle a tiny bit 
<coughs> push down all the way into first and then slowly release on the clutch. So right here, I'm gonna show you right now. And boom, just like that, you are in first gear again. This might take a lot of time to learn. It, it, some people are fast learners, some people are not fast learners, but just take your time with it. I'm sure you'll be able to get it eventually. But that is pretty much the simplistic thing on how to uh, ride a bike. And then the final thing I actually wanna go through is the braking. So let's show you guys that just really quick. Usually when you brake, you wanna use both front and your rear brake. So if I just turn around here. So if I wanna stop, all I want to do is pull on the clutch all the way and then apply a little bit of rear brake, apply a little bit of front brake, ease into it until you fully get to that stop and then you should be good. A lot of people love using the front brake more just because it has more power so they feel like they can stop easier but that is actually something that you really want to avoid. The reason you want to avoid that, I said previous in this video just you know pretty earlier, is using too much of the front brake can cause your front wheel to actually lock up and causing the pretty much the bike to come to an immediate stop and you go flying over the bars nobody wants that so every time you're coming to a brake ease in on both the front and rear brake just very slightly until you come to that full stop i believe i actually covered everything about how to ride a bike i covered how to switch gears come to a stop what brakes to use where the rear and front brake are the clutch on both your feet and hand and i think that's pretty much it if i missed anything for or any you know any pro riders out there that if i for you know if i forgot in the moment then i'll let me know in the comments but i'm pretty sure i covered everything and for all the new riders that are just not getting a bike uh if you have any questions let me know in the comments any pro riders or not pro but any any riders that have been riding for a couple years answer those questions i'll try my best to also see the questions and answer them for you for you if you have any questions but yeah that is pretty much the basics of riding on how to ride so if you guys want to see any other how-to videos on any other topic, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this one, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to see if you guys are new. And on that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! You know I